Neuqua Valley avoided the regional of death there in Romeoville at partially under construction Misswood Golf Club for the Plainfield Central Regional. Par 4 second, Plainfield North Zaid Isak rocking the red, also rocking a red number. Tigers advance to the sectional in second place. On that same hole, Jason Roach's drive set him up with about a 79-yard shot into the green. He can spin it with his 52-degree wedge. The English in A-plus, it would lead to a birdie. On the par 5 third hole, nicknamed Landon Stone in the same group as Roach, Yorkville's Evan Dill, feeling he wants to get acquainted with the birds too. This is his second shot, he would lag the putt within three feet, that's a birdie. Dill led the third place Foxes with an 82. To the par 3 seventh hole in Manuka's Ryan Johnson, playing a fade off the tee, don't question him, he knows what he's doing. Slowing it down and finishing just above the hole, that's a gimme. For the Wildcats, the seventh was the place to get your short game right. Jordan Yamamoto plays the slope to perfection. He fired a seven over 79. Nikwa number three, Ian Nebendahl using the long putter from the fringe. He must have been taking notes within an eyelash. Yes, he would make the par putt. In the next group, Nick Roosh's tee shot a little strong. This chip nearly on the money. Things don't stop on eight for the Wildcat short game. Roach birdied the par five third. He puts himself in position to do the same on another par five, reading the green like a favorite book. Maybe it's the yellow ball. To the back nine now, the other Roach younger brother Jimmy literally on the beach on 14, but he shows wedge skills running the family. Jimmy fourth for the Cats, 83. Roosh's was hot and cold all day with the putter, this one clearly raising the mercury a bit. What did you have? I had a two. But no one signified short game prowess more than Jason Roach, another par five, another birdie, he's your medalist, Nequa regional champs. After the turn, it definitely started to get windier and a lot of the holes were in your face. And I just had a, I was doing full shots, but I wasn't swinging as hard and it keeps my ball a little bit lower. I just actually fixed the ball, or uh, I had a little bug in my swing and I just kind of fixed it, which makes my ball flight, I mean, a little bit medium. Hit the ball a little bit more solid, which helps definitely in the wind. My short game was definitely on today. Um, I try to have my short game on 100% every single time because if you don't hit a green, you could definitely just get up and down every time and that definitely helps. Definitely every single shot matters. We've learned that a lot this year and everyone's just taking it shot by shot not giving up on each other. We are motivated this year. We all would like to go to state, but now we know that every shot counts on the course no matter what happens. You know, just because of last year's sectionals, we missed by two or three strokes. So, um, you know, we, we want to make state as this year and, you know, the shots that we hit honestly count and, you know, nothing else really matters. Right before we got out of the bus today, he said he wanted six solid, solid scores and, you know, we didn't have that today, but um, for sectionals, we're going to be riding up on a bus Sunday, staying overnight, practicing it. Um, we're going to get ready for this, but sectionals, we kind of want to, you know, make it out to, you know, six solid scores again and just good shooting all around.